everybody. This is Norm with Two Guys Farming. I'm back. <laughs> yes, I am back. It's uh, been a while. And take a close look. Chellington Extended. Now I'm really back. It's been a while since uh, I've posted a... Well, it's been a while since I posted a video, but it's been a long time since I posted a Chellington Extended. So... Yeah, I've had, um, you know, some issues with save games and mods and, you know, the normal stuff. So, had to uh, reinstall a lot of the mods. Had to, yeah, you know, just, I'm an amateur at this stuff. So, <laughs> I'm still learning um, the whole thing, but I'm getting there. I'm getting a lot of help, too. So, um, yeah, so I, I had to buy back some of the vehicles. So what I decided to do was, um, I got rid of the, the John Deere, so I, I got the, the New Holland here. So I want to kind of keep it um, as English as possible. Obviously, this is an English map. So I thought I'd get rid of the American or North American stuff. And just, um, yeah, you know make it as much as realistic as possible okay so are we yes we're good all right <clears throat> excuse me so all right so he's um yeah so he's cultivating so we're good here and massey is seeding on 17 now you can see this field's going to be a mess because I can't tell you how many times I've, I've gone in and out of this game just getting everything back and whatnot. So the growth um, spurts are going to be very different. Uh, oop, that's a little low. Uh, loud, rather. Excuse me. Okay, so... Yeah, but anyway, um, as you can see, lost all my course play. I'm slowly building those back up. So, yeah, you know how it goes. Well, hopefully you don't know how it goes. Hopefully I'm the only one that has these, these issues. Um, but, yeah, so Massey Ferguson looking good. We have our Fent over there. And we have our Case. This is Main Farm. Park him for now. Okay, so this is our other case. And we need, we're empty here. So we need to get that fent over here ASAP. Because as you can see, we've got uh, both cases here doing uh, spraying and spreading. So we'll just. Um, park him for now and let's go ahead and now I think let's see the Massey is 14% yeah so he should uh, he's, he'll finish that row so um, what's the quickest way out of here I think actually up here I can't go through those bushes so I'm just gonna head straight up here seven ooh six percent you know what I'm gonna refill him um I don't think he is gonna finish no he's not okay so there's our hay and straw barn there had to re-download that as well um yeah so a little bit of a mess but um you know no biggie. We're back. I'm excited to be back on Chellington. Three, two, one, and finish. Whoa. Now he's done. Alright, so we just gotta drive around. You have to have the seed be on the same side. So we'll just pull up here, and let's, let's just keep these guys together for now, 
and we'll go ahead and refill him. Yeah, so he's he's done. That's good. Um, I think I'm gonna hold off on any more planting for right now. Um, just until I can get a, a handle on what's going on here. I haven't played this map in a long time, so um, yeah. So we're gonna hold off on the on the planting for right now. Okay, so. I think the quickest exit is right over. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> this happens sometimes, not all the times, but sometimes it does. And yeah, I am hanging out. Okay. I've got the uh, new real terrain mod in here. I'm, uh, I'm a little undecided as to if I like it or not yet um I don't know I just I have a feeling it may be causing some <laughs> issues I don't think this is one of them but it's kind of an interesting perspective actually I like it but um, not long term okay so we're gonna go in here and we're gonna refill our two case spreader and sprayer so that they can uh, go ahead and fertilize. We're at least, we'll probably get everything ready. So we've plowed everything. I know this isn't soil mod, obviously, um, but we've had a few harvests now, so I thought, you know, yeah, let's plow it. Um, so I plowed everything, and now I'm in the process of cultivating. And then, uh, as you can see, we've got uh, fertilizer spreaders here and sprayer. This one is full. This one in the back is not. So we're just going to pull on the right side. That hopefully should be close enough. It is. Great. Okay, so let's just um, check on the New Holland. Yeah, he's doing good. Yeah, it was a little, you know, he's a little underpowered. Um, but, you know, he'll, he's getting there, slowly but surely. He's getting the job done. Gonna adjust my microphone here without hopefully it falling off the desk like it did last time. And I'll just kind of adjust the monitor. Okay. So he's looking good. Okay. So now what we need to do is we've uh, we've finished our potato harvesting. So we want to bring these back to the southeast farm. Um, which is easier said than done because this is um, quite the contraption to navigate these roads. So I think what we're going to try and do is there's a shortcut. Uh, let's see. I need to get on 35 because if I can get on 35, then I can. There's a little path there uh, that runs east to west. So, let's see if we can finagle this right now. So, the entrance to 35 is down there. This is a... Now, I have the... There's the... The head... The, um... The topper. Because uh, I couldn't take this turn <laughs> with it on. So, let's... See if we can navigate this. Okay. Good. And now, all right. So maybe not 35. Massey Ferguson's done. That's good. And 
33 we can cross over. Yeah, right here. Okay. All right, so that worked. Um, so now let me drop that and let me go grab the, I think it's called a topper, or the potato topper, I think. Yeah. Someone, help me out. So we'll go pick that up. Actually, let me just, uh, let me shut the Massey off. So he's not burning fuel. Okay, so we're going to go up here. <clears throat> this is probably going to be a shorter episode. Like I said, I, I just want to kind of familiarize myself with what, what is happening. Um, it's been a while since I've um, done an episode on this map. Actually, can I turn in here? Yeah, okay. Perfect. Now I think I can get over there. Alright, so why don't we grab get a load of potatoes here in our rolling trailer. So let's um Oh boy. You know it's Oh man, no close but no cigar let me see can I go up here and I think this might be a good idea to do this kind of approach it from a different angle like, yeah much better yeah it's one of the things that makes this map challenging and fun and frustrating. Um, you know, these roads are tight, right? Which is, you know, imagine how it is in the UK. Or certainly from everything I've been able to gather just by playing this game and talking with other players. So, yeah, I, I was, um, I was heavy into the Michigan map series. I think I did maybe 10 episodes in a row on that um, which is cool whoops oh, oh no no come on now I mean that's that was just sloppy driving man. come on buddy oh, see this is the stuff that's just like crazy so then we gotta do this now we gotta kind of just uh, just gonna nudge it and yeah, that ain't gonna be easy that thing's got some oh and now sure right Four-wheel drive, differential, is that wheel off the ground? Both of them are. Oh, that's, yeah. Um, that's awesome. Okay. Let's head back this way. <coughs> oh, now I think I'm going to go down here. Oh, actually, I might as well have the Massey follow me. Six thousand four hundred DPI. <laughs> oh, I don't know if you guys heard that, but <laughs> I'm hoping not. If you did, yeah, I get this mouse, and you can change the DPI with, like that, which is kind of cool. But when you do it just makes it absolutely preposterous with that voice anyway alright so let's see whoa yeah see I don't know this oh yeah that's just gonna send him I don't know about this real terrain thing um it just I don't know I'm undecided what do you guys think are you using it do you like it um, it's just, I don't know. Oh, oh this is going to set him. Watch the massive. Watch this. Watch this. Oh, my God. He made it. Okay. So. 2,600 DPI. I 
Alright, so we're gonna, uh... I'm gonna stop him there. And... I'm just gonna nudge... This aggro star. Hopefully that's enough. Okay. Oh, beautiful. Okay. So, yeah, I think we're going to head in that direction. So let's go ahead and get in here. I don't know, it just seems like a, I mean, yeah, I get it, it's a plowed field, which I imagine um, is rough, but I don't know. Alright, so everyone's got, this is going to be a little tricky, let's see how we can do this, if we can do this. Closer. Wow, still. Really? Hmm. That's surprising. Well, let's just go on here and try it again. Possibly be because he's set to follow the Deutz, right? I'm guessing that's what it is. So Alright, so let's try this. So the Deutz is gonna follow Agro Star. Agro Star follow Let's see if this works. So far, so good. Okay, so now we have to find... Okay, so there's the path. This thing's really struggling to get over these. I think they're called furrows. Um... Which makes sense. I mean, I would imagine you plow a field, it's going to be pretty, you know, rough, the surface, right? But so much so that it would, like, throw a tractor off? I don't know. But, anyway, so we've got, everyone's looking good. See, it's a little funky. It's like a little secret passageway there. I somehow unfolded this thing. Pipe in. Doesn't look like it's in though. Okay, so actually, I think you can. Well, rather than experiment, this is gonna be a little bit of a challenge. So let me just. Um, there's no way that I'm gonna make this. Let's just, you know, right? So let's just, let's try and not make it an abomination of this. 
give ourselves a fighting chance by putting that there. Why is that scoop? Why did that go down? What did I do? There we go. Um, yeah, that's a lot better. Not that. Oh. Let's give this a shot now. Oh, man. Close. Very close. Come on, buddy. Oh. Uh, you might be hung up there. See, this, this isn't fun. <laughs> it's fun if it's challenging, but then when it gets ridiculous, it's not fun. But, you know, this is, um, this is challenging extended, guys. So, oh, these bushes, if they just would give a little bit. I feel like I'm close. I'm going to get in the aggro. And... I think I can give him a push. Let's try this. Oh man, I thought I... Oh, beautiful. Okay. Woo! See, it's those branches on the bushes. They're crazy. All right. All right. So we're here. We made it. Holy, holy. Yes, we're back, guys. We're back. All right. So we're just going to pull in here for now. Let's grab the aggro. Wonderful. <clears throat> yeah, I probably should have come up the back way here. I'm just going to pull these, like, here. Well, actually, let's empty these potatoes. We're going to check on the animals as well. It looks like they're, they're fed, so that's good. Yeah, no, that wasn't good. Took a long time. Yeah, my pile of potatoes is gravitating, by the way, as you can see. I'm not sure what is happening with that. But it doesn't seem to affect because I'm still getting potatoes. So that's good. We've got over a half a million liters now. So we're using these for the animals. So we're good there for a while. The TMR mixer, which is doing good. Alright, so let's just leave this here. And let's hop out and get this, this washed. Oh, 
This is a really nice Deutzfra Trackermon. Just, you know, solid. Performs well, looks good, functional, not buggy, no errors, just a really solid mod. Alright, so this is done. Okay, cool. Idea we're gonna park probably just straight back, right? Um, I think it's gonna fit straight back, it should straight back right in there, right? Yeah, Whoop. Perfect. All right, so we'll put this in here. Okay. Let's go grab our topper. I'm not even going to try to follow me. So we're going to pull right up here. We're going to rinse this off, put it away, and then uh, we'll go grab the Massey and the uh, Vatistat. Planter. Nice and clean. Get up underneath there. So we can put this probably uh, right next to it, I suppose. We have plenty of room, so we don't have to get crazy about where we put stuff yet. Okay. So, why don't we uh, park this here, I guess, for now. Let's go grab the Massey. Yeah, that was just bad driving. Can't blame the map for that one, boy. Ooh. Alright, so we're going to rinse this off, we're going to put them away, and we'll check the animals. I think we're kind of okay, because I, you know, I, although I've been logging on and off a lot, just trying to get the save game back and course play back, which I wasn't able to, but um, I don't think much in-game time has gone by. I mean, certainly some has because you can see that field I mean, is 17. That's going to be a mess. 
Um, it's going to, like, be ready to harvest in, like, three different stages. But anyway. Um, all right, so we're good there. So we'll park this, I guess. Boy, that mass, it looks good when it's clean. I think, what do we, yeah, we'll put this right next to the, uh, I think it should fit in here. I don't know, it shouldn't stick out, I don't think, yeah. Doesn't, alright, good. And we'll put the massy. Next to the New Holland, boy, that looks small. <laughs> okay, so let's um. Now I left this running. That's probably not the best thing to do. Okay, so let's hop in here. Let's just take a look at the animals. Okay, so, um, yeah, they look pretty good, 100%. 100%. So, I guess they're probably a little low on maybe grain, um, but looking good. need to cut some grass we need silage we have some not a lot we've got um what does it tell us yeah what's this beef oh i don't have any <laughs> of course Twenty nine. No, what am I looking for? Silage. Because we need. <coughs> excuse me. Um, silage, silage, silage. I was looking for how much I have in storage. Does it not tell you that? Cows don't have any yet. We will be getting some. Yeah, it doesn't tell you how much silage you have in storage. That's weird. I guess we just got to uh, up on the bunker. Anyway, let's um, I'll tell you what. Let's finish this and then uh, call it an episode. And then off camera, I'll do some more work just to kind of get things squared away a little bit. So I've been making some really good progress on my blender uh, training I guess we can call it um, I've been spending some time on that that's that's probably the, the biggest reason why I haven't been really recording too much I've also been uh, spending some time on Ian Robson's multiplayer server we got a really cool group of guys over there uh, we got Spud we got uh, Donald we got Bob myself a couple other guys um, new guys um, uh, Alex I haven't seen Alex in a little bit but yeah there's a few others we're all in the patreon supporting Ian and you know it's really uh, a cool deal right five bucks a month um, and you get access to the multiplayer server we're on Oklahoma right now which is a really cool map 
big map, big fields, big equipment. So we're uh, it's a really good multiplayer map. So we're uh, we're having a good time with that. So if you guys are interested in some multiplayer on a big fun map with awesome equipment, um, I've got Ian's uh, Patreon link in the description below check it out join us um it's worth <laughs> the price of admission just the, the number of laughs um and plus it's you know it if you haven't played multiplayer it really is a lot of fun it adds a totally different dimension to the game um it really does you know if you if you play it you know, like me, I only played single player, right, for almost a year. Um, and the game's still great. It's awesome. Right? We all, I mean, that's how we all started playing it. It's a ton of fun, single player. But just imagine that with a bunch of your, your buddies on there. So, and that's the key. It's a really good group. You know, you hear stories about multiplayer servers where you get people coming in and out all the time nobody knows anyone you know you get some knucklehead he drives all the vehicles in a lake you know I mean <laughs> that's not fun um, but yeah so we get a good uh, a really good group of guys so check it out check it out have a good time so like I said I'm gonna finish spraying this field and then just kind of, you know, just do a little quick inventory off camera. Just to, you know, everything that uh, needs to get done and next steps and stuff like that. So probably going to move some equipment around. I also have some fields that um, have withered, right? So... So we got, uh, actually we gotta go this way to see that, right? Yeah. So eight, we own one, we own, um, and these other fields, these are withered from the beginning, right? So. I played with withering on um so we never made it to this i almost i got about halfway through one i never made it to eight um in the beginning of the series We're, this is series number what is this episode uh i should know this um i'm looking this is 38 38 yep so this is 38 so we're 38 episodes into this and what's interesting is we were 10 ahead of michigan series and now michigan series is caught up now we're on 38 with michigan so they're even so yeah i'm going to start doing them both again i am going to get back to the rusty map aka Soznovka. um i don't know how many i episodes i'm into that one 24 so i haven't posted i haven't played that one in a long time four months ago was the last time i posted an episode for that um but it's a great map too so yeah i mean the blender stuff has eaten into my my time for sure check out my um my facebook page or you can check out the website, twoguysfarming.com. And uh, both those places there, you can check out my my Blender progress. I've made, um, um, well, I've, I've, I'm almost finished with the weight, which I'm going to make available to uh, my subscribers. I'm going to customize the front plate. If you guys want your name on there or a logo, I'll do that for you. No sweat. Um and I'm also working on two uh, buildings. 
uh, for a member over at American Eagle Modding website. So he's a map maker. He's building an American style map. He sent me some photos, and um, yeah, so I'm, I'm building those buildings in Blender. Check out my website or my Facebook page. Uh, both are Two Guys Farming. Uh, the website.com, Facebook, just type in Two Guys Farming. And the links are here anyway. Um, and you can see the picture of the building and what I've built in, uh, in Blender so far, and you can compare them. Let me know what you think. So, yeah, hope you guys check that out. And uh, like I said, I've got some work to do off camera here. But um, I will uh, see you guys soon. So until then, take care. Bye-bye.